Hello and welcome to another episode of my Working With Todoist series. My name is Carl Pauline and this week I've got a something really special to talk about which is Todoist update for iOS 15 and there are some really nice new features that have come out this week. Now before we go any further I would just like to say if you do get any value from this video then please help me by clicking on that like button below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you want to get all the latest tips tricks and news on using Todoist then please subscribe to my channel. Okay let me take you into my Todoist now and I will show you all the new features that have come out in iOS 15. Okay, let's get started with something that I have never really used very much, but I do like what Todoist are doing with this feature, and it's called Time Sensitive Reminders. Now, those of you familiar with some of the new iOS 15 uh, features, one of which is the focused mode, and you can create all sorts of focus. And one of the things that you can do with Focus, you can turn on or off notifications for specific apps. If you want your Todoist reminders to come through, then you can have these turned on. But you have to do a little bit of setting up first. The first thing you need to do is to go into your settings, which on an iPad or on an iPhone, you'll find in the menu here on the left hand side. So I'm just going to click on that and go down to notifications right here and you'll see, sorry, not notifications, that's wrong. Go to reminders around here. Now you can set up your reminders to how they come. So I've got mine set up for my mobile notification, which means it will come through on my phone. Desktop notification means they will come up on my computer and I don't have them coming through as email. But you need to make sure that your mobile notification is turned on, which you just do by clicking right there and that is now on just wanted to make sure you get that first because if you don't set that up first this isn't going to work very well now once you've done that let's go into and create a task and we're going to make this one a uh, time sensitive uh, reminder and we're going to add a date now we add the date i'm going to add that for today and i'm going to actually we're going to go back into that um oops add the date um, add the date for today and it's all messed up. <laughs> oh, that's my fault. That is not to do his fault. Let's just go start again. Add a date. We're going to add that for today. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a reminder to this date and time. So I can now choose a time right down here. You can see I've got 10.08, which works for me. So let's do that. And it's set for 10.08. And that's now done. So you'll see that this now turns red. Okay. Now, once that's done, what will happen? Let's just add the task. Let's add the task. Right. So what happens now is I've got that little icon is right there telling me there is a reminder going to come up on this one. Now, what will happen rather than us waiting now for 20 minutes or so, I'm going to show you what it looks like. What will happen is on your phone or even on your iPad if you have it turned on on your iPad you will get a reminder like this now you can choose to leave it on which means that the reminder will stay there until you dismiss it or of course you can turn it off right there but I really like that it's small it's subtle it's not the most exciting change but boy does that really help you to get to see those time sensitive tasks, the ones that you might forget, the easy things that you might forget. One of the things, for example, that my wife does is says, can you take the laundry out in 30 minutes? Well, I'm going to forget. So I add a quick reminder to my Todoist and that reminder will come up. I really like that. So let's just get rid of, uh, oops. <laughs> oh, let's get rid of that. Move that to the side there. That's done. Right. The next thing I want to show you is the quick quick notes. Now, those of you who are using Todoist with Apple Notes, you have some amazing new features. I'm going to be covering that again in another episode later. But for now, I want to show you something that we have here, which is absolutely fantastic. What I'm going to do is, first of all, I have to copy link to task. I have to turn that on. So I've done that. I've now, you need to do that first. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up a quick note. And what you'll see, let's just get rid of that one. 
do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap on that. I'm going to pull up my quick note. And what you'll see right up at the top there now is add link. I'm going to tap that and that's now going to add the link. And I can do, do some research. And what I can do is I can tap on this and it's going to bring up the website. And let what happen, I can take an image like this and I can just drag it into the note. I can put the image in there. I can go down here and let's just say I can take this one and I can drag, hang on, let's, let's put in the text out. I can just drag the image in there. So I can now drag images from the website directly from Todoist. And what I've done now is when I tap on that, it will take me to the task with the quick notes. Just a really, really cool way of getting the most out of Apple's quick notes that Todoist is allowing us to do because it has to be turned on by Todoist. So there you go. There's just a really good way of using Apple quick notes. I just think that this is going to make life so much easier, particularly if you're using Apple notes as your main notes application. Finally, what I want to show you on the iPad before I show you something that's really cool in the iPhone is the widgets. Now, widgets have changed a lot in in um, in our uh, iOS 15 on the iPad, but to do is actually have some really good. So let's go and edit the widget. So you have a few options here. The one I'm using is just the smaller, bigger box, if you like, and I'm using a filter because I can choose filters, projects, upcoming, I can choose whatever. And then once I've selected the filter, I can choose I've chosen my objective. So that's that one. But let's just go in and show you what you have available with Todoist. So if we go down to Todoist here, these are the widgets that you now have for the iPad. It's different on the iPhone, but for the iPad. These ones have been around for a while. This one is a bigger one. But the one, if you want to see all your tasks for today, then these are right here. They are all set up right there. You can see all of them on your main screen. So if I add that widget, you can see now I have all my tasks in Todoist showing right there. And as you can see, I can have two, I can have multiple widgets set up on my home screen. I really, really like that. Let's just remove that widget. I don't want that many. All I like to see in my case is I want to see today's objectives. That is just a super, super cool way of collecting my tasks together or being able to see my tasks together. Now, on your iPhone, we have a really cool feature. And what it is, is if you look here, when I click select a new task, you'll see down at the bottom, because I you're not going to be able to see this right now, but right on the bottom line, before the next to the arrow, the point pointing up, you'll see like a little square box. I'm going to tap that now. And what happens is I can pick up the text. If I click insert, I've now got write up client feedback, which is supposed to be what it said to say, write up client feedback. Let's just start again, discard that one. Let's see if we can pick it up this time. So I click plus, hit the text button there, and I'm just gonna go there, and it's not right here reading my writing, but I'm just gonna go insert, and then add the task. That is a really, really super way, and it doesn't just work by using an iPad, I can use this with any text. So for example, I have on a bottle here, which you can't see, but if I just take the bottle there, make your move and hit that, there you go. I've actually picked up make your move that was on a bottle. This is just really, really cool way of being able to get, uh, let's just stop that one from, <laughs> it's, 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 it's reading my camera, but you just need to turn on the camera on your phone and use that. You can, anybody sends you a screenshot, you can use it on a screen on your computer. You can take it from a bottle. You can take so many things. That is just super, super used. I think what Apple are calling it is live text. Todoist have enabled it, and it's a really cool way of getting tasks into your iPhone. So there you go. Thank you very much for watching this episode. Hopefully you've got some exciting new things to play with in Todoist. It just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Hello, thank you very much for watching my videos. Now I have something exciting to tell you about. 
Recently, I have developed a brand new time management system. It's a system designed to manage your time in the 21st century. The world has changed a lot over the last 20 years. In fact, it's actually changed a lot this year. And what we need now is a system, a time management system that is very easy to use, easy to maintain, so that you can spend more of your time doing the work. And that's what the time sector system is all about. It's going to change your whole belief system about way, the way a time management system should work because this focuses on when, when you are going to do the task. And let's be honest, it doesn't matter how motivated, inspired or how urgent something is. If you don't have time to do it, it is never going to get done. And that's what this system is built around, getting your work done. So you can spend more of your time doing the things that you want to do. I hope you join me in this course. The full details of the course are in the show notes below. So please join me and thank you very much for watching this brief video.